Hey guys, so today I'm back for another video. If you're asking yourself why am I dressed the same as my previous videos because I'm filming a lot today. So today I'm going to be trying out a foundation. Today's foundation is going to be on the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation, which looks like this. I was in Beauty Base the other day and I just saw these foundations and I was just like, I need to try it. And I know you guys really like it when I try drugstore foundations. As always, we have to do our post notification shout out and today's one goes to Farheen Ahmed. Thank you so much for the love, hun. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know when you have done so in the comments below. I haven't got anything on my skin right now, but let me just show you guys a quick close up of the foundation. There you go. I think it's a good colour for me, I'm not sure. It's in the shade Cafe. Um, they had a, a quite a few shades, I didn't count actually. So in this foundation they have 14 shades which is, to me in my opinion, not good enough. I always emphasise on that. They do have quite a lot of deeper shades but I don't really see much like lighter shades which is so weird. Um, they seem to have more like medium deep shades than lighter colours. I don't know, that's what I see on their website. And on the stand itself I don't remember seeing that many foundations but then there weren't any, there weren't much deeper shades either. Um, there was just a lot of like in the middle shades which is really good but you know you need to cater to everyone I feel like but yeah I definitely think they should improve their shade range so um, on the um, website it says the long wearing high pigment formula applies as a liquid and blends into a beautiful matte powder like finish available in 14 shades to complement a wide range of skin tones no 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 girl I get that there's drugstore, so I can I understand that, and then they maybe they're like a smaller brand, so that's totally understandable. And I feel like if they for a smaller brand, fourteen shades, you know, they did they did do good for a small brand, but I feel like in the future they should maybe look at expanding their shade range because we have brands coming out with thirty shades, forty shades. So I feel like that's what we should be aiming for. So yeah. That's enough talk on the shade range. I know you guys hear me talk about it so much. So I got this for five pounds at Beauty Base, but it's six dollars, you know, in the US. I mean, it looks like a good shade, you know. So that's cafe. It's very thick. I am going to prep my skin like I always do, just to make the review fair, because, you know, I always do these steps when I, whenever I wear foundation. I'm going to give it a good shake. Let's try a brush first. So far it's blending really nicely. I mean the colour is actually not bad. I definitely think this is more like my summer colour. I'm still not like tanned because the sun is like barely coming out. I mean the coverage is okay. I wouldn't say it's like full full. Maybe like a medium coverage because I can still see parts of my skin through. But I'm okay with that. Like I don't want it to be too heavy. It feels very lightweight. I feel like the more I look at it, the more like it's blending to my skin. Let's see, I'm going to use my Morphe blending sponge. Okay, I'm definitely getting more like even coverage with a sponge with this so I definitely get more even more like a bit medium to full coverage on the with the sponge side but with the brush it's like I can see still see some of my skin like it's a bit of a patchy application so I'm just gonna do a quick layer here oh I've got a hoop earring down hoop earring down It's applying really nicely around my mouth area. Okay, it's definitely buildable. See, that definitely fixed it. Down my neck and my decolletage area. I'm getting really good vibes out of it. Like, it looks really nice on the skin. It's lightweight. It's actually dried down to matte finish. I mean, you still see a slight glow. But it feels like it's dried down. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. And I'll give you some of my thoughts on the foundation. 
All right, guys, so I probably do look very crazy. Um, but it's okay. I think it's a bit different, you know? I like it. As you can see, I've done my makeup and the foundation is actually looking pretty good. I'm going to go look in daylight just quickly. Give me a second. I did go look in the daylight. It looks really nice. Like, the finish and everything is really beautiful. And the only thing I do have to say is that it's very, like, warm orange i just feel like i just wish that it was a tiny bit lighter um i probably could get away with this during like when i'm really tan the thing is though the shade underneath was too pink and too light for me so this was my only option it's very close to my skin color but it's just a bit warm it's a bit on the warmer side and yeah i definitely would say it's medium to full coverage with one layer it's definitely medium you can still see your th skin through it and if you go with like a little amount of product you could maybe even get like light to medium you can definitely i feel like you can really play around with this foundation and you get 40 mil in a foundation in here it's like 10 mil over what you usually get which is 30 mil so i don't know i just have to wear this so far i feel like the finish and everything else is beautiful there's no smile lines um, it's just making my skin look really soft and even it's the only my only issue is the shade so Yeah, but I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. It's now 9 40. I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day I have other videos to film, but I'm gonna keep the foundation on I actually have one more video to film so I'll be back later on All right guys, so I am back. It's now 7 35 last time I checked um, So I haven't really looked at the foundation for a while i haven't actually looked at it all day to be honest but i mean it looks good on camera but like in real life i just feel like it looks a little bit like cakey just a little bit cakey but the just like cakey around this area but also it's faded out in a lot of areas it's like my skin there's nothing left there i don't know why like it's gone all off my jawbone my chin all off my nose and I haven't blowed out my nose at all the eye makeup held up pretty well though yeah I'll give you guys a close-up but yeah it just doesn't look to me this is not long wearing in my opinion and I have worn a primer I set it with powder like I always do I did everything like I always do and it just doesn't really look like it's best and also I know it sounds like I'm probably like really not liking this foundation but the thing is with foundation is that when it's not my colour like it really puts me off. I know I can make it work with lighter stuff but I'm not the type of person that really likes to mix or things like that. So when it's not really my colour I, I just get really put off by the product. Um, yeah it just looks really orange, really dark like I would look at like just pass by the mirror and my face looks so dark. Um... So yeah, those are the things I would have to say, but yeah, it's not long, it's not long wearing, it just fades off everywhere, and I set around my mouth and it's just gone. Um, what else? It is very glowy, you know how I put it like all over my, this area, like this bit is like super glowy, which is so weird because it, say, it says on the product that it's a truly matte product, but literally look, I'm glowing, and I haven't put anything there apart from the foundation um so yeah i don't know about the matte thing although like i am i look a bit greasy in some areas but not too much like i've been worse definitely worse before um the only thing i would say that's good about it is the price um you got a good you got an okay amount of colors to choose from i don't know i don't know like i'm a bit iffy with this foundation because it's just gone off everywhere apart from my cheeks my forehead and it's just kind of like gathered in some areas on my nose it just looks really bad okay so that's what it looks like up close That's my nose. But the score I would give to this foundation is probably like a um, 4 to 5 out of 10. I don't know why, but I just feel like it's not for my skin. Um, definitely maybe like ask for sample in store because they do have testers. Um, give it a try 
because it is really cheap but I just feel like this foundation doesn't work for me like I just don't really like the way like I wasn't feeling good in my skin so yeah I think it's a thumbs down for this one you know for me I was really I really had high hopes for it to be honest but yeah if you can find your color give it a try let me know what you think but I think for now like the only thing is that that's good is that it hasn't given me smart lines which is a big thumbs up but Apart from that, I don't really see any other benefits. Like, it hasn't really made my skin look good compared to other foundations I have. So, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other foundation recommendations that you want me to try, let me know in the comments. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!